new information tonight about the unsolved murder involving a man found below the Sunset Bridge in West Spokane. The county medical examiner has ruled that William Pickard was alive when someone threw him off the top of the bridge back on June 30th. And that's where KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey joins us live with the details. Jeff. Well, Dave, these latest autopsy results come as chilling news for Pickard's father because they mean it's likely that his son was very afraid in the last moments that he was alive. Did the killer intentionally terrorize Pickard by dangling him over the railing? And what were they trying to accomplish by committing a murder along this well-traveled roadway? William Pickard would have celebrated his 39th birthday tomorrow, and so his survivors are planning a candlelight vigil Friday, not far from where Pickard fell to his death. It was his birthday, and you know, and it's his nice way to say goodbye. And he had so many friends. Unfortunately, friends and family still have so many unanswered questions about what happened to Pickard, but newly released autopsy results are providing some disturbing details. According to Pickard's death certificate, he died of blunt injuries to the head, trunk, and extremities occurring with impact with the ground. It means that Pickard was very much alive when someone threw him off the bridge. Horrible. Don't do that to people. You got a bone to pick, you go in the restaurant room and fight it out. Don't throw him off a bridge. Mr. Pickard also wonders why the killer risked being spotted on the bridge when they could have murdered his son in a much more remote location. Was that bold move intended to send a message? Well, if it was a message, they, guess they sent the wrong one because they will be caught. Thinking that they won't, that they're better than the, the people that are after him is wrong because they will find him. As you can tell, Pickard has a lot of confidence in the Spokane Police Department and says major crimes detectives are waiting for DNA test results to positively identify their suspect in the crime. Now, Pickard's friends and family gathering in High Bridge Park just below this bridge tomorrow night for a celebration of Pickard's life. That candlelight vigil getting underway at 7.45 p.m. Reporting live in West Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.